All right, everyone, I thought I was gonna cut off the video at the end of the unboxing, but after setting it all up, I found that I was having some issues and I just wanted to mention to you what these issues were and how to correct it if you're having the same issues. So you can see that I'm up and running. You can see three cameras. Yes, the system comes with four, but um, I like that I'm actually using that fourth output of the power to power the DVR so I can get three cameras in the DVR off one power and it's not having any issues. So that's great. Um, so what's nice is I am going to be using this remote here so you can see what you can do because um, the, there's not a lot of information on here other than like menu and escape and one, two, three, four. But uh, that's me hitting button one. It takes you to camera one. 2 to camera 2, 3 to camera 3, oh, there's my arm, and then if I go to 4, there's nothing there, obviously. Um, you can also scroll through these with the left and right buttons, and the up and down buttons takes it from 8 camera view to 4 camera view, like that, and to 1 camera view. So there we go. So the issue that I was actually having is this bar right here. So this was not being seen on my previous setup due to an overscan issue. So right now I am using a VGA cable to connect this monitor to the back of the DVR and everything is fine. The previous setup I was using was a old standard definition monitor so I was using the yellow RCA CVS port and the first one I plugged in was flickering and I couldn't see anything. The second one I plugged in I got the whole image but it was over scanned so I was losing a good half inch so I was losing this bottom bar here I was losing the CA where it says cam one here and I was missing the top so I was pretty much just missing this thickness of this bar all the way around. So I did not see any settings for it to fix that. The only settings were for the VGA or HDMI and I'll show you where those settings are. So on the remote, if you hit menu and you log in, it was under, if I remember correctly, let me find it here. It was not under this page. Um, system. Go to system. Right here under display output. Right now it says v HDMI VGA and I'm doing 1280 by 1024 at 60 hertz and that seemed to fill this perfectly. Uh, any of the other resolutions that here we go. Uh, did not give me the right option. I did this with the mouse earlier, so I'm trying to do it with the, key, the remote, and it's not working as well. Oh, there we go. So, left and right move you through the menu, up and down selects in the menu. That's good to know. So it offers 1280 by 720, 1024 by 768, 1280 by 1024, 1366 by 768, and 1920 by 1080. Now this is an HD monitor, but for some reason 1920 and 720 did not work. So I went with the, with the standard 1024 by 768. That is like a standard for stuff working. Put it right back on that. So if you're having issues with seeing the full screen and you're using VGA or HDMI, this is where your setting is. But if you're using your, your standard definition cable, it does not give you any settings. It just says CVBS, you got your hue, brightness, contrast, saturation. You do have a top, bottom, left and right, which will let you move stuff around a little bit, but it did not fix the issue that I really needed. 
Um, but yeah, so that's just an update. I would recommend using a VGA or HDMI cable with this. You may have better luck with your standard definition cable than I did. But other than that, the camera's working great. You can see that the uh, colors, I have some rainbow confetti here for you to see colors. And um, it actually does a pretty good uh, representation of these colors. And then there's just some motion, so you can see motion with uh, a ceiling fan. I just have these pointed at random things because you don't need to know what's in here. Anyways, once again, thank you very much. Make sure you hit helpful if you find this helpful. And uh, have a great day.